Today I'm back into the uh, Anzac bike. I uh, spent a couple of days looking for paint pens so I could do the um, back guard and didn't have any luck. So I'm going to have to um, have a shot at doing the, all the lettering by hand with the airbrush. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but you know, got to do what you got to do. So. This is part two of the Anzac bike, and I'll show you where I got up to. Sorry about the light, um, walking around here. So uh, that's where I got up to. So there's the, um, the couple standing in the poppy field in the sunset. And you can see I've put two Lancaster bombers flying over in the, the background. Um, so ideally to finish this off, I want to uh, finish off the, the, the little bit of green down here and sort of um, get a pale yellow and sort of fade it out. Um, so not much to do really, but I do have the badges to do there on the tank. Uh, I've sort of been uh, doing rough sketches, it's the army emblem. The owner of the bike decided he wants the army emblem on one side. Initially, it was going to be the army emblem and the uh, Air Force on, uh, emblem on the other side. So I've got to do a, uh, a good copy of that and put that on the sides as well. So there's just a bit of finishing off to do here. This little oil uh, tank cover, side cover. I've got two metals I've got to scale down and do on there with a little bit of lettering as well. And this is what I'm doing today, the back guard. So I want to do a little bit of a poppy field on the back with a little bit of um, sky. So it'll be kind of like the tank with the sunset, but I've got a paragraph to do. It's going to be basically that so uh, I, that's why I wanted a paint pen it would have made it much easier but I'm gonna have to try and recreate that with the airbrush so uh, I haven't been looking forward to that it's, it's gonna be quite fiddly so uh, bear with me with that I mean the whole job the art side isn't gonna take that long really it's more the fiddly stuff like the lettering and these which is gonna take my time. So I'll do my best today and uh, I've got no choice, I can't find paint pen anywhere. I went looking at uh, the paint shop, they said they used to stock the paint pens but you know they no longer stock it so they said try the auto shops. I tried some auto shops and looked everywhere no one seemed to have any. I asked um, a lady yesterday, at, I think it was Super Cheap Autos. I said, look, do you have paint pens? I explained I'm an airbrush artist. I want to do some lettering. She said they stopped stocking them about seven months ago and they had uh, a couple of paint pens left on the shelf. But when we looked, they were gone. And, uh, you know, if I order something online, it's going to take too long to arrive so I really want to get this job done and dusted so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna to have a shot at the lettering on the back guard and we'll see how I go with that
Okay, so I've jumped ahead again, mainly because the camera turned off, and then I bumped it and it fell on my head. So <laughs> I uh, left the camera to one side, and I was getting quite into the um, lettering, so I didn't want to sort of stop while I had a um, had my mojo on. But anyway, it's not perfect because I don't have a paint pen to do it with. It was all by airbrush. And I've really got to clean my airbrushes out with all the hot weather we've had. They need every now and then a pace to get your airbrushes and soak them, give them a really good clean, and that's where mine are at. But because I'm halfway through a job, I can't stop to do that now. Um, but this is today's effort. And tomorrow, I'll get back into the tank and, of course, the front guard, wherever I'll put that, front guard down there, I've got to uh, do the uh, Eureka Stockade flag. So anyway, that's a little update because, the, as I said, the camera turned off, so I'm using my phone at the moment.
going to end the video there. Um, I had the uh, customer, he, he came over with his wife this morning and um, they looked at the, the artwork I've been doing and they're pretty happy with it, but they want a few extra little things. Um, I'll show you. So um, the changes they wanted, they were pretty happy overall. We've got the army emblems on the site. Um, they're happy with the job overall, but it's just little things like they want me to sharpen a few edges I was going to do anyway. Um, the poppies in the foreground here, they want me to just extend just in these bits up each side on both sides because they kind of stop here, but they want me to bring the horizon out a bit, which is fine. Um, so I've got a little bit of a short list. On the back, they wanted the lettering here, lest we forget. They want, instead of uh, the pale colour here, they want me to do black over top of that. That's fine. And I've, you can see I've got a bit of progress on the medals. Not finished. Got a bit to do and a bit of lettering to do just in there as well. Um, and the front guard, the back of the front guard here, they want, like here, they want a little bit of a poppy field with uh, crosses and a little bit of sky and a dove, a little white dove. Um, the front of the guard, they got another little um, piece of artwork they sent me. So it's not going to take that long, really. Um, apparently they fly out on Thursday next week, so I really want to get this job done and dusted by Wednesday. So I should be able to do that. Um, he's excited to uh, get the tins down to his friend and get them clear-coated, so when he gets back, when he flies back in, he'll be able to put his um, Harley back together. Um, and then I've got the the wife's Harley to paint after that. So, um, but overall they're pretty happy. I'm happy with the progress. So, um, so anyway, there's your little update. Anyway, so that's where I'm up to, and I'm hoping this week to get that done for the customer. Got a car show to do tomorrow, um, and. Uh, the sooner I get this job done, I've got the, the wife's Harley to paint too. So that'll be another paint job to um, show you guys. But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the, the likes I'm getting. Um, if you like what I'm doing, then, you know, as always, please give me a thumbs up. It, it helps my channel to grow. But... Uh, for now, ciao.